Has anybody got any idea what France are going to bring this week? No, me neither. Bonjour, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be here with you throughout the championship and beyond. So hit subscribe down below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. But today, I'm going to be doing my very, very best to try and figure out which team I think France are going to take to the Principality to play Wales this coming Sunday. Okay, where they come from? Last time out, they played against Italy. And I think they actually, up to a point, played really well in the first half. They had plenty of momentum in their game. They got their big carriers going. They were surging, some big scrum and more dominance. But... Their profligacy, their wastefulness in the 22 was uh, a bit of a joke, to be honest. They should have been 20, 25 points clear in the first half, but they weren't. And then Dante got sent off and then it was a struggle uh, all the way through. Alco and myself did that game. I'll link it up there. Go and check out our detailed analysis of what happened last time out for France. OK, some squad updates. And there are quite a few here. Out injured Jalibert from the Italy game last week, out suspended Jonathan Dante for that ridiculous bolt up right tackle. And in though, some good news for France, in come Emmanuel Mayafu, who before tournament was being lined up as basically the replacement for Paul Valencia. This guy is the Australian Kiwi, also qualifies for France. So he's got a lot of options open to him and he's committed to France. Also back, come Thibaut Flamont, the lock forward that was at the centre of France's charge over the previous two years. A really important player for France, so it's good to see him back in the French squad. Also back, Gregory Aldrit, who I don't know about you, but when I saw him leaving the pitch against Italy, I thought that was, um, or against Scotland, was it? Sorry. I thought that was him done for the tournament. So um, great to see him back as well. Again, the captain, so another very important player. OK, here we go. Players in the forwards, I think, are going to keep their places from the previous match. Not all that many. The front row is pretty settled now. The props certainly are the first choice. I've talked about Malvaca and Marshall maybe swapping, but he seems settled on Malvaca. Uh, and he showed up reasonably well in the first half against Italy. Obviously, France playing a bit more rugby, so you see him a bit more in open play. Second rows of, of Woki and Tuolangi, they went OK. Tuolangi had one big carry in particular. But with the returning second rows I mentioned before, there's definitely some pressure on their places there. Back row of Boudin and, and Cross. Again, some pressure coming with the return of Aldrich and just some balance there. What will they, what will they go for? Uh, so this is what I think. I think Meafu played 65 minutes last week for Toulouse. Flamont also played off the bench 35 minutes for Toulouse. So I think they are going to get uh, picked together. Meafu's first cap, and that will be an all-Toulouse second-row partnership. I think Cross moves back to the blind side to get Aldrich back into the side at eight. That is definitely France's strongest back row that's currently available. Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate for Paul Bourdon, who I think has been a very solid performer during this Six Nations, but he just can't break into that starting lineup for me. OK, into the backs. And I just think Biel Berry, uh, yeah, the wingers, Biel Berry and Pano, both did OK against Italy. Pano was certainly very industrious and got a lot of ball. Um who am I missing here in the middle? Fiku as well. I think he'll certainly play, but it just depends in which shirt, depending on who they pick to replace Dante. Scrum half, Luku or Le Garrick. I think France has struggled for some spark. They've struggled to just have that little bit of je ne sais quoi um, to get moving. What is French for je ne sais quoi? Anyway, Le Garrick might be able to provide that, and I think possibly it might be time for him to come in and provide some spark. At 10, obviously, um, Jalibert's out, so we need a replacement there, which is why 15's open as well, because I suspect it'll be Ramos. This is what I'm going with. I'm going with Le Garrick. I think, from what I said before, I think they do need just to change things up a little bit. Luku hasn't particularly played badly, but they just need a, a bit of a change in there. 
Ramos, who's played a lot of rugby this year at 10 for Toulouse, slots straight in at 10. With Leo Barry, the Stade Francais fullback, I think that's going to be his first cap as well. I'm going to go with Moafana to partner Fiku in the centre. With all those changes in the back line, I think they need somebody that's in it, in and around the system just to provide a little bit of stability in there. And Moafana can certainly do that. Although, actually, he was pretty poor last time out against Italy as well. Onto the bench. And we are, we've got the same front rows. And 19 as well, Roman Tofanua. Wocky moves to the bench along with Budenholt from the... Uh, Starting lineup previous time, Luku swaps with a Garrick, and in 23, Deporter, the Bordeaux centre who scored two tries this past weekend, one of which was an absolute stunner, uh, comes in to potentially get his first cap from the bench. I think will be how it works. But look out for him, tall, rangy, pacey, just got you know wonderful sense for the game. Very young as well, I think. 20 I think he's about 20 years old so a youngster huge talent huge potential and I think they'll start him from the bench now then what do we want to see from this French team god um I I just want them to see them turn up with the passion and the sort of cohesiveness to play together as a side for 80 minutes that's what I want to see. I don't want to see any of these massive drop-offs that we've seen in every game so far. They've had moments in every game, but they've had huge moments of just where it looks like they don't care. And I know that's not true, but that's the way it looks in terms of some of the body language, some of the output from some of these players. So I just want to see a real 80-minute performance from this French team. What do you think? Do you think this is the team that Gautier is going to pick to go and win in Wales? Do you think they can win in Wales? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll join you there for a friendly conversation and give this video a thumbs up while you're down there. If you don't mind, it helps other people find it and you can subscribe there. There, you can watch that one next and don't forget to get out and play.